Guys, I know we normally talk about news stories on these daily videos, but I, I want to open this one up with a little story uh, of me in high school. Um, I fell down and I got a big open cut on my arm and I had to go to the nurse's office. Okay. And I was in there. Uh, well, it wasn't like I wasn't freaking out or anything. I just had this open wound. She was tending to it. And while she's tending to it, she just let out the juiciest fart ever. And it You're reeked. lying. That didn't happen. I swear to God. I'm, I mean, he remembers it 20 years later, so I <laughs> okay, kind of believe okay. him. Grow and uh, and it off. smelled really bad. And, and of course, so I'm sitting there and, and I'm like, there's got to be some bacteria floating around in this room. Well, and, like, uh, they say that that's not, that it doesn't work that way. I mean, I always assume that when you smell it, it's particles of poop that are coming into your nose, <laughs> but they say that's not true. That's well, not true. I mean, if that's not true, I'll be a very happy person because my entire life, every time I've smelled a fart, I thought I had someone's fecal matter in my, in my nasal passages. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And when you're, in, when you're young, a kid, you really believe this shit. You have no idea. There was no internet. Okay. So anyways, uh, 20 years later, there is actually news. This is breaking I, news. This is breaking, big stuff. Fart news. Breaking news. Fart I, that's news. a perfect term for it. <laughs> yeah. Because um, there was an Australian scientist who tested whether farts spread disease. And uh, interestingly enough, the reason that she <laughs> wanted to do this study is because she was in an operating theater and uh, she wanted to know that when she quietly farted in the sterile environment of the operating room um, or theater in this case, if uh, she was contaminating the area with her farts. So pretty much my exact experience. It's the exact experience. So, <laughs> so let's cut to the chase here. So, so she was like, and I realized I didn't know the answer. So they did a, a semi-scientific test. Oh, wow. It's very right, scientific. So, so Forrest, have you, have you read this yet or no? No, no. This is all, all right. new. I'm, I'm so, all ears. So what, what would your guess be as to what the – how did they test to find out if farts could spread disease? What was their methodology? Uh – You'd have to, I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing you either like farted on a stick and then check for bacteria <laughs> or like farted on, you had to fart on something, farted you know, grow a, a bacteria, stick. test for a bacteria, some, right? So, yeah. I, I don't, I, how would I test so, for a So they fart? had two groups yeah. of humans. So yeah. they had one group <laughs> fart directly onto Petri dishes with nothing between them and the Petri dish. Okay. They had another group do it while wearing clothes Oof. okay and the that and the petri di the petri dishes <laughs> from the first group where they had no clothes on grew bacteria had bacteria on it that would then fester and grow whereas the clothed group the bacteria didn't pass onto the petri dish thus proving definitively that yep. you should always wear pants when you fart because <laughs> otherwise you could kill people i you, wow. definitely I wonder if COVID's spreading around through through a little bum gum, or oh, that, it is, uh, <laughs> it, it is for sure, mate. Dude, out. this is from the scientist. Our final conclusion: Don't fart naked near food. <laughs> In case you were yeah, doing I mean, that already, oh, yeah, man. That, this is problem. one of those things that like might have been a groundbreaking discovery, but who's going to publish it? Like who? No. <laughs> I fucking like I fucking love science.com IFL science. Is that who published it? Is that a real thing? No, I don't know if it's That's like where the, we found it. Yeah, oh, yeah. God, yeah okay, okay. I don't believe it was published in the uh, New England Journal of Medicine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But it was uh, it was published in a medical journal called BMJ. So. Okay. By the so way, so uh Will, could you pull that picture back up real quick cuz I want to talk about just how utterly repulsive the picture they selected for the article is. It looks I mean, it looks like somebody took a shit in a Petri dish. It's like the perfect fucking stock photo they used for this article right here. It, 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 I look at it and I'm like, this, this is exactly what this lady's talking about. Just taking a shit in a Petri dish. Well, also, by the way, like it makes you think of like if you've ever like worn your underwear for a second day, like out on a track or something where you're like running out of clothes. <laughs> yeah. Probably probably on my fourth day as we currently speak. But yeah, please continue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like this petri dish for us. You should change, mate. I should. You're right. I only own two pairs though, and they have to get me through the week. But uh. so, what's your what's your biological uh, what's your take on this very important groundbreaking medical study? 
Well, look, we all know that I have, you know, like fecal phobia, right? My, we, we've discussed this before. My, my biggest fear in life is porta potty splashback, right? Yep. This is, I find that like, yuck. I find this disgusting. I don't <laughs> want people farting by me. You remember, remember when you're, I think we, didn't we argue about this? We did when we did Retep's dating tips. He's like, you got to get a girl that farts in front of you. I'm like, what's the fucking matter with you? I want a girl that farts in front of me. I've never heard anybody that I've dated fart ever, period. And I don't want to ever. And I, okay. Uh, I didn't say you got, you have to get a girl who farts in front of you. Bur I said it would be. Them. You're like one yes, of the prerequisites. Yeah. No, I, I said it would be beneficial if you found yourself a nice lady. And if you're a male who uh, is accepting of your flatulence because everybody farts and if you hold it in it can be dangerous that's I all i said that i don't believe everybody farts um <laughs> <laughs> well you sir <laughs> are an Look, idiot. It's, it, i think this is hilarious i think science is science call it what you like i don't think it's groundbreaking that we now know that when you fart poopy comes out and that can carry disease i really don't think that's a new thing but uh yeah yuck I'm glad this isn't my study. This is why I'm sticking to animals. I'll pet the cute cuddly rabbit while some guy grows fart fart petri dishes. Yeah. Yuck indeed. Well, thank you, Dr. Carl Krushelinknicki out of Australia for studying <laughs> this. Uh, this is some fun trivia that you can bring up next time you're at the bar to That's gross right. people out. Yep. Yeah. Or in the operating room. Farting on a plate. Do it. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Don't fart. If you food. didn't, go ahead and give it a like anyways. And we'll see you next time. Just don't fart in your food. Naked.